guys, it's Melissa. I, I'm trying something new this morning. I'm honestly not even sure that it's going to work. I might be doing this whole live for myself, but I'm not sure. So we are, I'm, look, can you see me? It's so fun that you can see me and you can see my screen. In a minute, I'm going to disappear because I want to show you some things in Silhouette Studio on how to use one of my absolute favorite um, little hacks, which is Dingbat fonts. If you are not familiar with Dingbat fonts, they are fonts that use little pictures or clip art type things instead of actual like letters and characters. However, you can access them just like you would with a font. So it's super fun um, and it gives you a lot of options. And I was going to show you this shirt that I made for my kids, but I'll have to grab it in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use these and we will go from there. And I'm really, I'm looking at my phone now to make sure that I'm actually live. Um, so let me just verify that before I get through this. Oh, yay, here I am. Okay, cool. I got my phone, I got you. All right, you're gonna, I'm gonna disappear for a second and then you'll see me um, again in just a minute. Hopefully this is working. Is anyone commenting saying hi? Yay, you can hear me. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. This is so fun. You don't know. I've been working on trying to do this for like six months. I literally called Mandy Graham from Sparkleberry this morning. I'm like, Mandy, tell me your secret. Drive me nuts. All right. Anyway. Okay. All right. Dingbat fonts. Here we go. So Dingbat fonts are going to be installed in your font list the exact same way that any other font would. So what they are, you can see here on mine that I have this font right here, uh, which is called Bullet Judel, Judel, I don't even know what it's called, but it's super cute. And um, it has characters, you can see them more easily if you go into the glyphs panel, um, as opposed to actual letters. However, if I go over here and I type out, um, and I just type with letters, like I just literally typed the word type, it comes up with the with these special little designs instead of the actual letters, okay? I'm gonna show you practical uses for this in a couple minutes, but let's, um, let me just do another one first. Let's see, this one's called KL Blast, okay? This one has not only text, but also extra glyphs and extra dingbats. So you get the, t the text, but let's say we select on it and then we go to our glyphs panel and we scroll down, you will see that there are options in here for dingbats. I gotta find them, here they are. Okay, so let's say you have um, a kiddo that you wanna make a shirt for that has a planet and you wanna make one that has a rocket. Um, I am literally using these, as you can see here with my text box around there, um, I'm using these as text. Now the great thing about that, let's type a whole bunch of these out. Do, 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 do. Just gonna keep on going with this. I'm gonna show you why in a second. I've got so many tricks up my sleeve, I don't even know where to start with these. Okay, so first of all, um, we are going to, because we are treating these as text, we are able to put them on a path, which means I can draw out a circle. Oh, you guys, this is a, I didn't even realize I'm in V4.2. You got a little sneaky peek here. Didn't even think about that. All right, so let's say we want to put these um, fun little spaceships around the circle. We can use these just like we would for, um, with text, okay? So now I can put, let's say I wanna add my son's name. All right. Turn this this way. I can add a couple more spaceships, you know, whatever I want to do. And then I can treat this just like text. So now I'm going to convert it to path, okay? And I can remove that, in, you know, remove the circle or whatever. And I've now created um, this fun little design with these dingbat fonts. Now, why is this so great? Well, it's not. It's much easier put, to put text on a path than it is to put designs around a circle or around any other shape, right? So this is a fun way to do that. Okay, so number two, you can use these. I'm gonna move this to the side. You can use these in so many different ways. So obviously, this is a cut file that I could simply put on my cutting, you know, put some vinyl or paper or whatever on my cutting mat. And when I go to the send panel, it has cut lines. Very, very easy. All right, I, all I did was type this. Now, what I like to do a lot of times is separate these out so that I can use them as, let's say, stickers. So if you right click 
and click release the compound path and then you, sometimes you have to do this you have to click ungroup what happens is you are now able to access all of the different areas of this planet so let's say we want this piece and this piece to be um, filled in um, green or blue whatever I don't even know what you want or yellow okay and then you want this ring here to be uh, red and then you want this background to be like a yellow oh no what happened all that happened is this shape right here is in the front so you just need to select it and send, say send to back and it'll send it back there, okay? And then you can select these other little pieces and you can tell it that you want those to be black or white or whatever, okay? I, don't, I really don't like this yellow. It's bothering me. Or let's just make it like that. Okay, and then what you can do, because you guys know I don't like cut lines, I change my cut lines to transparent, okay? And now if I want to make this a sticker, I just go back to my send panel and I select it again and I say cut edge and all it's going to do when I print and cut this it will print you know this whole planet but all it will do is cut around the edge okay so it's a great way to make stickers um, with these little dingbat fonts and there are tons of them so this one's KL Blast it's it's a Kedaly font and if you um, <laughs> if I might have a slight obsession with Kedaly fonts she's got so many really cute ones this thorny one um, is one of my favorites I'll, I'll show you real quick um, why and you've probably seen I've done tutorials and actually I think I did a freebie on this but it has these adorable little succulents and cactus it's so cute so um and then i'm going to show you one more that i actually made all right so see these are all um little just designs that you're using instead of fonts but they install like fonts okay all right so some some font dingbat fonts also have a full font with them others uh where is that one like this right here is a dingbat font uh well wait a second let's see it's coming up like this because it's not that whatever character I typed is not in there. So let's do it like this. If I type that, there you go. So you've got that. Now, I am going to show you um, what I recently used for what a dingbat font for. This is also, um, this is actually this bullet Judy, Judy thing. All right, I'm going to turn you around so you can see me real quick again. All right, so this shirt that I made my daughter for haha <laughs> hacked this first day of school last day of school hundredth day of school <laughs> gotta love chalkboard heat transfer vinyl um so this design here along with the pencil these were dingbat fonts that i used okay so i didn't have to go find clip art i already had the font in my library um and then i was able to just add those and create this design this is going to be on the blog next week so you'll be able to see it all right so you got all that now i'm going to disappear one more time well, maybe I'm not. Let's see. Ah! Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hold on. I'm gonna dis <laughs> I'm gonna disappear one more time because I just want to show you one more thing. Um, which is, are you still able to see this? Oh my gosh. Okay, you can't see it. All I was gonna tell you was that over at Sofonsi, we are doing 20% off all fonts today and all of my Kedaly fonts. And there's a million dingbat fonts. I'll throw them up there. I'm so bummed I can't show you, but um, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 this is so much technology for today that I think, I think we at least accomplished our mission to show you how to use Dingbat fonts in Solo Studio. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm not able to see your comments or maybe I can see them here. Oh, I can see them. And there's lots of you. Hi. Okay. This is so great. All right. So I'm going to throw the link up there, but if you're interested in Dingbat fonts, if you're interested at all in getting um, fonts, all the fonts on So Fonty are commercial use. For personal use, and we've got tons to pick from. They're 20% off today for our big anniversary sale over there. So I'll throw that up as well. Uh, but if you are um, a sticker fan, if you like to make um, layered, you know, heat tra heat transfer designs, printable um, vinyl, the all different, a million different things. I've done lots of stuff on the blog on Dingbat fonts, so I'll throw um, that link up there too. And I don't know if I'm more excited about Dingbat fonts or the fact that I got this to work. This is so fun. All right, guys, have a fabulous day, and I'll see you soon. How do I end this thing?